This is an example of deferred ordinary perpetuity. So let's assume that here we have here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. That's why you put dots. In year 5, you receive $100 million, and then it will continue every year forever, which means in year 6, you'll get $100 million, in year 7, you'll get $100 million, and so on. And that's why you put dots. So we'd like to know what will be the value in year 0. So in order to get the value in year 0, we need to do it in two steps. So the first thing is, I know that this is an example of ordinary perpetuity, because we will get the same amount every year forever. Therefore, we know that the present value of ordinary perpetuity is one period before my first cash flow. So my first cash flow happens in year five. So I know that the present value will happen in year four. If interest rate is 10% per annum, therefore, the present value of ordinary perpetuity is C divided by I. Our cash flow is 100 divided by 10%. So this will give us the value in year four equal to $1,000. Then I would like to get the value in year zero, not in year four. So this means that I need to move backward. If we need to use, if we need to move backward, we use the present value formula. If we need to move forward, we use the future value formula. So here we need to move from year four to year zero. So we need to move backward. So we need to use the present value formula. Look here from year four to year zero. Do we have any cash flow? We don't have any cash flow. So this means that it's single values that will move backward. Therefore, we need to use the present value of single cash flow. The formula of the present value of single cash flow is present value equal future value divided by open bracket one plus I close bracket to the power N. So how many periods we need to move back? Let's count them from year four to three is one year, from three to two is one year, from two to one is one year, from one to zero is another year. So we have here four years that we need to move backward. Therefore, the present value of single cash flow formula is present value equal future value divided by open bracket one plus I close bracket to the power N. So the value in year zero is equal to the value in year four, which is 1000 divided by open bracket one plus 10% close bracket to the power four. So this will give us the value in year zero equal to 683.01. So my next question to you, here we moved along the timeline. So I will give you three options and I want you to tell me which option will be better for you at effective annual interest rate 10%. You receive today 683.01 or in year four, you receive 1000 or in year five, you receive 100 that will continue every year indefinitely, forever, at effective annual interest rate equal 10%. So all these three options will give you exactly the same value. Therefore, you will be indifferent.